All right, I'm here today, man, to let y'all know how to get the best quality. We not here for my parents, so I didn't get a haircut for y'all. I did brush my teeth, even though y'all can't smell my breath. I try to shoot in the daytime. I hate when people try to shoot in the nighttime, especially when you're on a low budget. Everybody can't get a generator. Everybody can't afford a lot of lights. Try to go for daytime. I tell people that all the time. Sunlight is the best light, and your quality is great. When you got sunlight, even though it's more steps to get in great quality, go for sunlight. When you're in the sun, you want to use a diffuser. You don't have to use a diffuser, but it's good to use a diffuser. Um, Because you could get a type of glare on somebody's face that's gold. You know, it's different colors to it. This range is around $20, $17.50 to be exact. But I mean, you could get one for probably $25 and stuff. But the best price, $17.50. Second, because uh, people like to go on people's houses. You know, where it might not be that good light. People think that it's light because they can see that it's light. But the camera is different as far as light. So, nine times out of ten, you probably want to use like a ring light. This light right here, people like AZ, AZ Productions use this. You know, he shoot for Little Dirk and Chief Keef and all that. He used this. I miss a lot of people that use this. People who do makeup, makeup tutorials on YouTube use this. It's called the Diva Ring Light. It range around like eighty to ninety dollars. I mean, that's a perfect one to use. I like that one a lot. So, uh, I think you should go with that one. I mean, you don't have to go with that one. There's all type of lighting that you could go with, but that's cheap, and it's gonna give you that good. I mean, if you want to put the light over somebody's head, that thing shine right because the gap in the middle of it. See this right here? That gap in the middle of it, and you can use this to take selfies and all that. So. That's a good way to get good quality. I have a soft box. I rarely use this, but uh, I mean, if you want to get a different type of lighting on your character, or however you're shooting for, you can give them that red type of light. See that light up red? If you take this, it don't come out right if you just leave it like this. So you gotta have this over top of it, or when you get the editing, it ain't gonna look as good. All right, also, I have this light. I rarely use it unless it's nighttime. Cause it's gonna almost light up the majority of the sidewalk that you're shooting on. Uh, I mean, if I had multiple ones of this, uh, it'd be perfect, but um, I only got one. I actually shot my little short film with this one. But um, I typically used all my lights for that one, but you gotta have more stuff like a generator and all that just to uh, have this so uh I mean it's not mandatory for you to get this this was high X recorded for cheap um probably like a hundred dollars but that was lucky that I caught that one um I told you I go to Amazon for all my uh products this not a fluorescent light though that's the only bad thing about it because you're going to get that color that's in there so you typically typically don't want to have that I mean, I'd rather go with fluorescent because you get you get that white feel. I'm going to show you all as a light that everyone probably got if you're a cameraman. Um, I typically don't like these lights. Well, this light. But nine times out of ten, you're going to use it if you're shooting someone performance, which is this light. I typically don't like this light. I hate this light. It dies so fast anyway. But if you're going to get it, get this. The Sony uh battery pack in the back of it. I don't like this light for some reason I just don't like it but uh, a lot of people be liking it but I'm not a fan of it I mean you get good quality out of any light to be honest but I don't know it just don't feel enough it's just too small I mean the high price ones is like probably two hundred dollars and up so that's for the biggest that's for the biggest ones because you see this this is small but it's actually a good a good size because nine times out of ten you're just gonna get the face of a person but I mean I wouldn't a lot of people, this is just the first thing. Nine times out of ten, if you're a beginner, you're going with this. That's point blank period. But this range around like $40 to $30. So, I mean, it's good for you to get just to start off with. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. I hope that I helped some of you today. Uh, I plan on dropping a video once every week. Leave a comment below saying how I helped you. Leave a comment below if you want to be a part of my team. Leave your email below if you want to be a part of my team. Or you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bond Vision Film. 
Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to make my next video about. I'm trying to touch on everything, but I need my subscribers or just anybody that's coming by to watch the video to let me know what should the next one be about. I'm talking about lighting, quality, uh, shutter speed, everything. I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. Just leave a comment below. All the products that I use is down in the description below. So look down there. Go on Amazon. Get it. Amazon, the cheapest place to get it. Also, make sure you go check out my short film. It's right here. Go get it. Go check it out. It's a lot of action. I'm not going to say too much about it because you really came here for the quality. Give me a view, please. If you got it, I need that tonight, then. Let's go. But I never want holding and never gun. Watch what you said before your mom missing another son.